it's doing view bobbing, but I recently played this game um, after playing some older games, and for some reason, it's really a weird thing with graphic perception. Like, you play this game by itself, eventually you get used to the graphics after a while. Like the same, that's the case with any game. Fuck no, no, no! Uh oh, oh! I was gonna say I had no idea that that cuts off. Yeah, but that's a long drop. That's probably the longest drop in the game. Um, but yeah, after playing a couple of other games, when you when you uh, hop over to this game, or just when you hop over from games with different graphics, uh, definitely gives you a different perception of how things change. Because like this game, even though I'm running it on medium graphics, which is a little bit technically downgraded than I think high. I think medium might be default, but I think high also might be default. I'm not sure. Um, but my point is, though, is that I'm definitely running this game on different graphics than I fuck would for some other games. And so, in comparison, it just makes it where it feels, uh, like the game suddenly improves, even though the game settings haven't changed. Shit, how am I supposed to get up there with the grappling hook? Because, like, I want to get up here with the grappling hook. Is this still locked? Did I never unlock this? Here, unlock this damn thing. I'll probably never come back here, but would help with any potential OCD I don't know about. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I have OCD, I just like things neat. Now that door's forever unlocked. So, maybe I can go through the tunnel? Is that what they wanted? Oh, return through the tunnel. Duh! Find an exit. Right here? I'm pretty sure this is how I actually came over here in the first place. Yeah, nothing can go wrong with this plan. I must have went through this way. There's dead bodies everywhere. Unless. Can I open this box real quick? Real quickly, just grab that, thank you. Oh, big guy. And there's another big guy. Pardon me. Oh, fuck you, go away. Oh, what the hell? I wasn't even near you. Chad, these big guys with hammers can be so annoying sometimes. We have this vomit guy, though. Whatever those boomer vile vomit things are, those guys are annoying. What the fuck? Oh, shit! Was that one down there? What the fuck? Oh, it's a volatile nest! Is it nighttime? And dude, this must be the strongest door ever, because the fact that's keeping this fucker back, these things are strong as shit, but yeah, that's a vo volatile nest. Yeah, I was just thinking about telling you guys about that, actually. About how we get to find a volatile nest? Well, there you go. I didn't think it was nighttime. Is this the end of one? I guess the end of one. Unless this is one. Oh, this is one. Oh, fuck, I was joking. Oh, I didn't want to actually be in one. Oh, fuck, I wasn't ready for this. Oh, shit. Dude, I was joking around saying, like, oh, yeah, we haven't found a volatile nest the entire time of the game. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. So I was like, ooh, maybe we can explore one. I didn't want to do it right away. It's like the thing fucking read my mind. Go away. I don't want you. I wasn't ready for that. I was just fucking joking. I didn't even say it out loud, I literally just thought about it in my head. <laughs> Whew. That was freaky, it was like it took something out of my mind and like, uh, reiterated it to me. In the, in the form of the, uh, the game. Hi, Marcus. Oh, that was weird. Well, that's, I guess, our experience with that. <laughs> that was a weird coincidence, how that I thought it and then manifested. I have to go to the slums. Okay, that's an exit to the slums. But we don't want the slums. We want to go back to uh, Old Town, which is the uh, the tunnel. So this sewer system actually connects you to both, actually. Okay. Hi, Marcus. But uh, let me know how your day is going today, G. I hope that you're well, and I hope you end up enjoying seeing another dead, uh, the dying light stream. It's good to see you again, man. So I guess we're going down here, chat. So, back to Old Town specifically. 
How you been and good? I'm doing really well, man. I'm doing really well myself. I'm just, uh, in fact, actually, before we even go any further, uh, just in case for the whatever fucking reason I drowned, I'm going to heal myself. This way I have more health by the time that I'm down here. Can I, can I do it? No, I can't. Now I can. I right, go, Crane. Oh, we've actually have also got Denstry. Hi, Denstry. What's up, man? It's nice to see you again. I was just thinking about you recently in streams, man. I was going to be like, it's been a while since we've seen Denstry, and then lo and behold, I, I guess I summoned you. That's weird. Two things I've thought about but haven't said out loud have actually manifested in real life. Yo, ma maybe I can manifest uh, a stripper? Maybe a million dollars? Maybe, perhaps, uh, some epic funny moments for content? Who knows? Who really knows? How's it going? Good. L literally, it's nothing but great. Just, uh... Trying to unlock this door is really what it is right now. Box? What's in the box? Is my dick in a box? Oh. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Was it literally just pulled all the way to the left? <laughs> God damn it. That, that annoys me when I get like an easy one of these and like I try to like feel out the uh, the lock pick and they like ends up just being like hold to the very, very left. So anyway, back to Old Town. I got a message out to the world and just in time. The ministry's bombers peeled off and left. This coffee tastes like shit for some reason. I don't know why, but like normally when I drink my coffee, like uh, I never notice like the coffee taste sometimes. And for some reason, I don't know if I like put too much milk in it or whatever, but it tastes like really like off for some reason. Uh, I may be getting back from one on Friday. Oh, nice. If that's the case, man, we actually might play. Who knows? That's exactly what I intend to do, Doc. Just remember, I'm surrounded maybe, by maybe. an army of infected. Yeah, affirmative. Expect me soon. Good. Yeah, don't worry, Doc. I got you. Going down here? Let Camden examine Zier's infected samples. We gotta probably go up, right? Yeah. Alright, back out to the surface! So now is it going to let me know how far I am in the story? Yeah, 84%. We're really fucking close to the end of the game, guys. So probably what's going to end up happening is that after this mission in particular, I'm probably actually going to have to Google this because at some point, uh, I think we're going to be very close to just completing the main story on accident because this game, like some of the other games we played before, don't go by like 1%. They go by a couple things of a percentage. I would like to believe that this is the last normal quest before the very very final mission of the main story i want to uh oh you want me to do the funny voice god damn it dentistry now no one's gonna take me seriously uh but we also want to do some of the side quests which in this case is um right here so so boo we're gonna have to do these quests these side quests we got the gas man the survivor's guide to the zombie land on the hooks, gassed up, the bunker, a legless spider, office outpost, a radio station, <laughs> chasing the pass, and lost in space. Ain't that right, Chickaboo? I don't know why I suddenly sound like a very sweet black lady, but I'll do it. <laughs> These could last for a while, Sugar. Let me just see what the name of the uh, the last mission is called, and then we'll and then we'll move on, honey buns. <laughs> uh. 
Okay, so I found out that the last mission is called Extraction. It is the 15th and the final mission in the story. So we're not quite there yet. But when we do find it, we'll do the side quest. Because I want to do that as much as I can. The last couple of games, we've actually been doing the side quests, which is nice. Not every game, but most games. I don't know why, but for, for some reason, I'm quite good at impersonating a, a sweet black lady. Don't know why. Don't know why. But I'll roll with it. Okay. Oh, God. I gotta, I gotta I'll actually go back to my normal voice because uh, that coffee, I can't, I can't keep that imitation up of the funny black lady while drinking that. That that coffee that time around tastes like shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like I don't know why. Oh hey there, there's zombie Brock Lesnar. I don't know why he has. Looks like he's got a problem with me. He's like raising his hands up. Ah, uh, he's pissed at me now. I didn't do anything wrong. Fuck you. Thank you for five viewers. I appreciate you, everybody. Ooh, farmer sickle. So, okay. So yeah, guys, what we're gonna do is that, uh, stay away from me. We're gonna be going to uh, drop off the research to Dr. Cameron, and then my guess is that we're probably gonna end up being uh, doing the side quest, because I think extraction's right after. Good, now those uh, sh little shits down there will leave me alone. He's still tracking me from all the way over there? Are you kidding me? Oh, I wanna see his commitment. D d is he just not able to jump across? Is he gonna figure out some way to get to me? I'm just curious, hold on a second. So that little guy down there, you see him? He sees me, but he can't get to me. I think, I think he can't get to me, good. Unless that's just him that just respawned, but. If for some reason over here they got a lot of the um the virals, the the guys they like get pissed off all the time. Oh, this is Dr. Cameron's place. Uh use the uh, grappling hook crane. Good. <laughs> yeah, I, I I did look at him wrong. Oh shit, fuck you! This game jump scares me at the worst timing. I was, that was not even like an actual jump scare. Like the goddamn, uh, the volatile nest jump scare where I went to open the door and I looked up and there was a volatile in my face. Didn't even near, nearly scare me as bad as that did. I, were these guys on the roof like ahead of time or something? Or, or did the game just spawn them up here because they just said, fuck me? Wait. Did I know I'm down here? Whatever. Anywho. But that scared the shit out of me. Like, unnecessarily it did. Select. Uh, hold on. Upgrade. Do I have any upgrades for this? Yes, I do. Okay, so let's do an upgrade. Confirm upgrade. Yes. So the good news is I have all of these weapons if I need them. Now, do I have any ammo? I do not have any ammo in my pistol, but do I have assault rifle ammo? Or even double barrel ammo, because you gotta keep in mind we have that now. What about AR? I have nothing in the AR, but I could kill the one guy with the gun real quick and actually pick up some assault rifle ammo, so we'll keep that in mind. What about the double barrel? No. So probably what I'm gonna do, chat, is I'm probably just very gonna quickly just ambush that assault rifle guy. And just get some from him. He's li he's literally right here. Ready? Watch this. Re ready? Watch this chat. Boy, <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I didn't know you could actually like do the skull crushing thing on the uh, survivors. I thought it was just the zombies. Oh, God damn it, Crane. That was brutal. Although he only had 11 bullets, like, so I guess that guy kind of deserved to die. It's still better than nothing, though. But, like, god damn, that was brutal. Like, normally you, you do that to a, uh, oh shit, this guy sees me. Like, normally you do that to a zombie that's already brutal, but to a survivor, you gotta have a lot of, like, leg power to, uh-oh. Oh. I messed that one up badly. You didn't see that? But you have to have a lot of leg power to do that to this guy. I. You know, uh, Mr. I can, uh, I can sort of, like, kill you at any moment, and you have zero idea. I can hear you. I can smell you. I can taste you. Well, that, well that's a little weird. Disregard that one. Hello? Oh, now you see me! Okay, I was... <laughs> he was, like, not sure for a second. God, that guy's social awareness is terrible. Like, hell, even the zombie had an easier time. Like... <laughs> That was actually kind of... Oh, shit, I didn't want to do that. God damn it. Fuck you. Any more of that want to fall out of the sky? Like, dude, I stabbed that guy, and, like, he then slowly turns around, and he's just being like... Oh! It was a human! <laughs> You think the least he would do is go, ow, that hurts. <laughs> oh, hi, Tim. <laughs> you just joined in time to hear me say fuck. Oh, and now you want me to do the uh, the funny voice challenge again. Here, let, let me go back to my, uh, my, my sassy black woman impersonation. How you doing, Tim? How's it going, boo? <laughs> Maybe this will be my other alias. Maybe this will be one of my alter egos. What, what, what should we call this character, hmm? What should the name of this character be, Honey Bunch? Why didn't I invite you to play Dying Light on PC? I thought you were streaming, Tim. Plus also, you can join whenever you want. It's, it's a public session. As long as you're on my friends list, which I know you are, you can join. So it doesn't matter if I invite you. I already told you what I'm playing. You just gotta join, or you just gotta ask, Tim. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> but no, yeah, you're welcome to play at any point, Tim. There's like, there's literally nothing stopping you. The session is uh, public to friends, so. God damn it. Do I just slide in? Yeah. Hi! Oop, I actually didn't mean to shoot you, but I, I guess that, that'll just solidify whether or not that'll kill you. <laughs> this Noam Chomsky doll is like one of the funniest things to kill people with. <laughs> Here, hold on, do I uh... Here, go to a throwing knife for a second. How the hell are you? What is this, Star Wars? How the hell are you able to block these? Face me like a man, you're doing the same thing as me! Why is it, why is it bad if I do it? My G, stop blocking this, this isn't Star Wars! He's blocking this shit like it's Star Wars. <laughs> what the fuck? There are zombies. Eat, eat his brains or eat his body. Yeah, I can see you through the security cameras. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. Use the elevator. Push the button for the bottom floor. 
got it. I finished stream about an hour ago. Yeah, I would have not have known that. Uh, actually, I think I have to do the beginning of the game before I can join. Yeah, if you have yet to play Dying Light on PC, you probably have to. How many uh, medkits do I have? I might actually need to either get a medkit heaven run. Yeah, I, I've been wasting my medkits because I take fall damage like regularly in this game. I either need to head to medkit heaven shortly, like in the next little bit. We'll probably have to go up there one more time and let, uh, before the uh, the very end of the main story. That is until I uh, possibly get uh, assistance from one of you guys and just give me some. Dr. Camden might actually have a chance to develop a cure. Keep in mind, though, guys, that we're not going to be quite on to Dying Light 2 yet uh, as soon as we uh, complete the main game. We still have the Dying Light following DLC, and then we'll probably do it. Like, whatever amount of DLC I feel like is necessary to get the gist of the full entire first game. I was sad to hear about Dr. Zara. He and I were thrilled to get the chance to study the Huron virus. And not to mention, the GRE paid us quite handsomely. Oh, by the way, we're on backup power now, so we have minimal functionality. Great. Oh, I do? <laughs> That's funny. I probably have more than you just because a lot of my uh, my, my followers give me medkits. I remember back in when I first played this game on Xbox, I joined late and all my friends gifted me like all the overpowered weapons like right off the rip. <laughs> and uh, in this game, I was like, hey guys, don't try to give me everything. Just maybe like occasionally give me like a medkit or something like that here and there. And then Amble gave me like 100 plus medkits. But that's really all I have is just med kits. All the weapons I've found on my own, legitimately. I uh, hope you don't mind me reminiscing out loud like this. It's, uh, it's been quite a number of weeks since I've had the prospect of talking to an actual live human in person. Side Doc. I get it. Not gonna lie, that did make me jump a little. Although I did see him on my mini map, so at least it gave me a little bit more of a warning. Alright, Doc, will do. Oh, there's actually a zombie here. I keep forgetting that's E. I gotta remember that E is finished, not F. Maybe that will actually help me like use that execute better from now on. Also, by the way, chat, uh, I need to also just le legitimately maybe even have a stream hypothetically where I upgrade uh, Crane to the max. I mean, I don't necessarily have to, but maybe I could. Maybe we can also upgrade him more throughout the, uh, the Dying Light Following DLC. You know, like, just get him stronger in general. Would I need to have him at max? No, I don't have to, but, uh, definitely would help. Although, we'll see about that one. This game's not as important, I feel like, to get him at max. I'm going through everybody's shit. Don't worry, Doc, I'll save you once I, uh, I'm done loot whoring. Oh, okay, here we go. Get, climb, thank you. Unrealistically having a vent that's perfect size for a whole human being to walk through. Hey, Gogeta, John, me and Tim and Joseph, uh, Finna, okay, GTA, don't suppose you wanna come, uh, pussy boy. Uh, today is Dying Light, my G, so I can't. It's a uh, Dying Light stream, then work, uh, then coming back home to make some YouTube videos and play guitar. That's uh, my entire day today. Maybe uh, on a different day, but can't do it today. Sorry, homie. Oh, shit. Well, at least that time I got him. But, uh, hi, Gogeta. What's up, though? I hope that you are having a good day, and I'm uh, glad to see that you stopped in for a little bit. Find a way to Dr. Camden? Did I get the, uh, the card? Is that all I needed? Or is Dr. Camden on, like, the other side of this? Where is he? Do I gotta head back into the vent now? No. 
Oh, unlock doors. That's what it was. It was not just the key card, it was also unlock the doors. Zombie, I'm not quite over there. Ooh, that was a clean swipe. Uh, I cut your head off. You should stay dead. That's Ryze's guys. And then there's a big guy over here. Now, luckily, this is uh, blocking them, but I'm pretty sure it wouldn't surprise me if I got to fight him. Okay, the only way into the lab is through the decontamination room. The entrance is to the right. Everything went straight to hell after Rise's brother died, you know. Rise went from a guy with monstrous tendencies to a full blown monster. That's kind of how monsters work, my friend. Decontamination zone. Alright. Oh. Alright, I'm on it. Zara and I got to safety with the help of a GRE operative, a man very similar to you. The operative who helped us was supposed to evacuate alongside us, but you can guess how well that worked out. Zara and I both got stuck here. Extra careful now. I never cleared the infected from that part of the facility as I never had reason to go in there. I got separated from the two of them, but uh, I made it here to this clinic. I, I really had no other option than to wait. Finding a cure. Watch it. Opening the door. I recognize these guys. Isn't this the dudes in the suits that I uh, had a side quest at, at, at one point in the beginning of the game about rescuing uh, somebody, like, doing business with them? I don't know if technically the story is, like, out of order, but I recognize these guys being in suits for some reason. Unless they're just very similar-looking guys. Oh, more vent climbing. From there you can reach the hallway and then the generators. Thanks, Doc. This doesn't make it such a wild goose chase. No, really, trust me, it doesn't make this a wild goose chase at all. Repair this, by the way. Yeah, good. This has a lot of repairs to it, looks like. Alright, so use the key card. Open the door. Okay, I thought it was the exploding guy. I heard like a bubbly sound, and I thought it was like someone busting a nut. Yeah, all these are uh, recently turned people because, uh,. You can just tell based off the way that their clothes are like all like clean in comparison to like like you know stab them obviously. But um, no yeah even though they're a little bit like uh, you know zombified, these guys are freshly turned. You can tell. Dude, I hate the stun block crap. I get one stab in and then they just shove me back in this corner. It pisses me off. You know, let me also heal myself real quick. There we go. I actually utilized the drop kick. Okay. Vent. Here we go. 
All right, chat, let's save Dr. Cameron. Can I break this? No. Find a way to the lab storage. I would figure that it's uh, not that complicated. Do I just go here? Maybe the black outline is what I need to do. Yeah, I probably got to go this way, chat. Now, I'm trying to remember in the story... Oh, there's the big guy, actually. I'm trying to remember in the story here. Um, if, uh... You dead? Yeah, you're dead. That if, um... With Dr. Cameron, I wonder what happened to him. I don't remember if he lives or if he dies. So it'd be interesting to find out. There's a gas area down here. With a whole bunch of infected zombies. I presume that this kills me. Or like it severely hurts me is why one of the main reasons why that's here. It's locked, fuck. Can I open this without getting hit? Or at least not much. I actually decapitated like three of them. Wow, that was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So this is locked. I am supposed to be here, right? Find a way to the generator room, unless this is like an Easter egg area? Can I break this? No. You sure I can't go in here? Or is this just one of many areas I can go into and I have to just trial by error figure out if it's actually the one I need? Ow. Yeah, oh yeah, that hurts me severely. Oh, that hurts me really bad. Yeah, now I gotta go all the way to the other half of the map. I think I do, at least. Can I fall down here? No, I don't think I can fall down here, per se, but... I'm trying to think about the way that this is organized. Your current view... Is there a way specifically out from here? No, that this cuts off. My guess is that it's probably from somewhere down here, is my guess. It's, it's gotta be. Can I go past? No. Here, we'll just keep going. I can't break that. Uh. Shit. <laughs> yeah, they want me to go a certain pathway, so it is somewhere in that one room. Hmm. My guess is that we gotta go somewhere through here to end up getting to down there eventually. I don't know why suddenly there's a light there that wasn't there before. And then once we do get down there, that's when we probably would find Dr. Camden chat. Okay, so... Is there a way I can maybe, like, turn the gas off? Is that a second door? I can stand here, okay, good. All right, that's just blocked, though. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a vent back there. Yeah, move the, uh, the forklift, okay. Ha! So it was here, it was just hidden. 
So I, I did a good job. It wasn't that complicated of a problem solving thing. Although I do get to fix this weapon right away, which I don't want to do, but oh well. Alright, now we continue. Secondary room. There's a big guy. Probably moving another forklift, but let me see if there's any extra bonus stuff. No, that, that cuts off. Okay. So we got a big guy. So really quickly, what I can just do is that, uh... Does that work? I'd sort of hit him, but... Not what I was hoping it would. He's definitely pissed, though. I, I don't think I needed to shoot that one as many times, but uh, at least I made, made sure he is dead. Oh, my inventory is actually full. Let me uh, get rid of some weapons then, because I don't want to have it where my whole entire inventory is stacked. Uh, this man, I didn't think about having my whole entire thing taken up. Should I craft anything really quickly to avoid this problem? We'll do that in just a sec. Just this execute. I think this is a running knee. That that'd be a really good execute. The strobe knight. I had no idea I could also make these. I could also make the angel sword. I can make one out of a machete, or I can make it have a blade. I can make the god hammer. I can make a couple of these, actually. I had no idea I could make so many of the legendary weapons. How many do I have, exactly? Got a gut hook blade, a, cam uh, a camo police assault rifle, a Nobchansky, a sickle, which is like that legendary one. I got the suit, the Excalibur, <clears throat> double barrel, a couple of pistols. Let me just make some of these real quick. We'll make an angel blade. We can probably do it out of that uh, one pickaxe thing I'm using. Create. Yeah, my uh, my little gut hook blade. The one I'm actually using right now. Which is already a legendary, so this should probably be even stronger now, so. Yeah, look at that. Now it's like on fire and has electricity. So that's what it was. So that's how you get also the elemental power-ups, is you can make a blueprint and you can also add them, like, manually. So now that this uh, thing's got fire and electricity, it's probably going to be a, a literally a god sword. So, uh, what's another one we could do? Still can do strobe knight, but uh, the machetes I have are blue, which means that it's not going to be nearly as strong. But what I'll do is I'll just get rid of every other weapon besides the machete just to make space. So, I don't need another sickle, but I could use it for that other thing later. So I will keep it, at least for now. Uh, dismantle the gray one. Dismantle a crowbar. We need two double barrels? What was that one double barrel uh, blueprint we had? Oh, this isn't a, uh, a double barrel. This is a... Uh, this was about creating a uh, a semi-auto shotgun. That I, I should find at some point if I can. The sandstorm. Hit your enemies with a hail of bullets. This requires a double barrel. And this makes a stronger double barrel. And it requires a lot of metal and duct tape. Hmm. I'll think about it. Think about, think about, think about it. There's a couple of things in here that I'm surprised about how that they actually are useful. Uh, get rid of the pickaxe. I'll just actually, just, should I drop it or dismantle? I'll drop it for now. And then... Also drop... No, nah, actually, I'll keep these for now. J just for now. I'll only get rid of them if I really need to. And then this goes up. So that's cool. So now we've got... This legendary, this legendary, even though it's a gray. Uh, maybe, actually, I just realized, maybe legendary weapons do stack with legendary blueprints. Maybe because this was already a legendary with a legendary blueprint, that's why the thing stayed gold. 
but this was like a gray sickle with a legendary blueprint. That's just why it only goes up so high. Maybe legendary is how about how many times it doesn't break. So legendary, gray, purple, purple, blues, etc. So we technically got two pistols, two versions of assault rifles, and two versions of double barrels. And then we got a couple melee weapons, the main equipment. So yeah, maybe there should be gray versions of things if I uh, if I have to. But uh, ideally I want it to be legendary. Can I not go in? Now I can. My dogs are just barking because they're probably excited about my family, so I'm just going to let them bark and get over with. Uh, but, uh, yeah, chat, we're going to figure out if we can end up getting Dr. Cameron here. So, generator. Start power to the generator. I got to do it to all of them? Yeah. And yep, now it wants me to go straight down the hallway where all these big guys are. Fuck. I'm gonna try to see if I can aggro him to get him all the way over here, so. Come on. Come on. Come on, big guy. I'm gonna, I'm, I purposely ran towards him so he would run towards me. Yeah, but then he hits the other little guys. Oh shit, he actually managed to hit me. I didn't want that. Run. Fuck, fuck. Heal. And then I need enough space, so. Hit it. Move the fuck out of my way. <clears throat> Good thing he only put it so high so the big guy couldn't follow. I wonder what this thing exactly is looking for. Oh, they're like decontaminating them. Does that kill them? Or does that not do anything? Oh, yeah, they're dying. What the hell? Ow. What the hell? The, the, they're th I'm through the door and it hit me. That's not fair. Can I go? Now I can. My dog is trying to kill me? Really? Why? You not feed him snacks and he suddenly became a wolf? You know, my dog thinks that they're like that too, my wiener dogs. Tina makes me, uh, like, try to feed her, and if I don't, she complains, and she's like, don't make me assume my ultimate form, even though she's a wiener dog. Dr. Camden. Doc? Dr. Camden? Hey. To be finally shaking hands with you. Now let's have those tissue samples, shall we? Hey, Doc, you mind if I show you a photo? No, 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 no. Just, just, just one minute. Just let that run. That's gonna take quite a while. Now, what uh, what was it you wanted to say? Hey, that's him. That that that's the GRE operative I was telling you about. What's his name? Amir. Yes, yes, Amir Goreshi. What are you doing with a picture of him? We uh we had a mutual friend. His samples are still viable. That's good. With some luck, your trip here won't have been for nothing. Uh, where's the rest of the data, by the way? I know Zara prepared two packages. Yeah, I'll have to get back to you on that, Doc. Right now I have some GRE shitheads to confront. GRE? Pray you watch yourself around them. Their public face is a lie of epic proportions. Those people are all heartless, lying bastards. I hear you, Doc. And thanks. I'll be in touch.
Sorry if it looks like I'm pissed. My dogs were barking and I told them to stop and they keep ignoring me and it's pissing me off because I don't want to show up on my recording. Contact the GRE. Alright, well, nice to see you, Doc. Do I gotta escape back out the vents again, or can I just go out the door? Avoid the door? The microphone's also working, right? I wanna make sure it's unmuted, so. And then also what I'm going to really do quickly, guys, is that I'm also going to just uh, plug my computer in. There we go. Alright, let's head out, chat. Leave the laboratory. I met Camden. He was very excited to see Zera's samples. He says if he can get the rest of Zera's data, there might actually be hope of finding a cure. We'll see how that goes, Crane. Listen, Crane, I gotta reiterate. You better watch your back, your front, and both sides with those GRE bastards. They'll screw you if they get the chance. I know, Doc. I'll be careful. I just need to figure out where things stand. One of the things I should also probably do is at some point try to figure out about the, uh, the safe houses. Damn it. This wall is, like, right next to me. Oh, shit, that one, like, jump-scared the shit out of me. Can he climb? Do walls climb? No, he's just chilling down there. This grappling hook has saved my ass more than I realized. Although, now there's the other ones that do notice me. Now, I, I don't think that th this is Greer, uh, but this one, I don't think has a, a bed to sleep in. I really need to make sure I do that for a lot of these. Is I uh, get that thing so I can use their beds. Oh shit, they do follow me. Yeah, that's that's pretty fucking terrifying. <laughs> Great, use the goddamn grappling hook. Oh shit, one of them like jumped in front of me. can't grappling hook for some reason. Is Crane too tired? Oh, fuck, he stopped me. Ow. Grappling hook, Crane. Thank you. God damn it! I th think these guys would help me. Oh wait, is this actually where I need to be anyway? Or is it just above here is what it was? I don't know. Anyway, let's go to our player stash and add the storage, because we need to add all this to storage. Actually, wait, can I combine these? Like, can I add a blue to a gray? Uh, that way I can save stuff. I'm, I'm gonna go with this for a sec. Can I combine this? Upgrade, can I just upgrade it with a, a current one that I already have? If I... 
No, it only just makes it into a metal part. I can't put the things onto this. That would make it a lot more convenient. Wait. No, I just switch them. Yeah, I can't. Damn it. That would be a really cool loophole, but it would probably make it uh, impossible to uh, make players switch weapons then. There we go, there's the sleeping bag. Alright. All right, chat. So let's contact Greer and see where we stand. All the way up there, right? Did I reach that far? Oh fuck, please grab it. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Surprised the grappling hook could even reach that far. Um, I figured, I figured at the angle I was going, there's no way I was going to be able to turn around and grab it, but I tried. Damn it. A special deal for you. Uh, where's the exit? Have I never lockpicked this? You won't find better deals in all of Haran. I just lockpicked the same power spot. <laughs> well, at least now this is more of a straight angle. Fuck, come on! Seriously? God damn it, Crane, just grab the ledge! Do I have to go over the very bare minimum? I can't just do the bare minimum? Damn it! Like, just damn it! Okay, so rule of thumb, I can't aim at the very direct half of the ledge. I gotta go over, uh, otherwise I miss. In the very top of there. Now, can I reach it from here, the very, very tippity top? Because... Don't know if I can get a straight shot here. Here. Okay. Do we gotta go directly underneath each time? Is that what it is? Yeah, like, he just forgets to use his arms. I don't get it. There we go, finally. Troy, I give the samples to Dr. Camden. Now I'm gonna go have a little talk with the GRE. And what are you going to tell them? Everything. I'll meet you later, Troy. This is Crane, do you copy? Kyle Crane, you can hear me, can you not? Rise. Rise. Where are you? Exactly where I should be, atop my own tower. Of course, mine is not quite complete, but... It still stands as a monument to chaos. To entropy. To what it means to be ruled only by oneself. I'll kill you for what you did to Jade. For everything, I'll fucking kill you! I had hoped that would be your attitude. You see, we are at war, you and I. A war of opposing philosophies. A war to see whose vision of the world proves true. Come, Crane. Come and challenge me. What is it you Americans are so fond of saying? I dare you. 
know what? Forget it. There is no war. There's only your fucked up outlook. Go to hell. Oh, no, 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 no. I won't be going to hell. I will be leaving Arando, you see. I have made a deal with our Jerry brothers using your very own communicator, no less. They know I have all of Dr. Zera's research data. They call it the keys to the kingdom. Very shortly, a helicopter will come and take me away. Imagine the damage I shall be able to do outside the confines of these I forgot he does this. Of course, if you think you can stop me. You crazy son of a bitch! That is what I had hoped to hear. Come and find me, Crane. Let us finish what we begin. So the GRE even fucked over Crane and uh, Rise um, contacted them because now he has all of the research that they need. And uh, they're going to just take out Rise instead. Wow. A a a <laughs> Greer, um, Rise, uh, the everybody's screwing over everybody. Jesus. All right. Well, that, yep, that means that now the last mission is now the next part of the main story, which is extraction. Confront Rise at the top of his tower. So, chat, that means that if we want to be able to continue this for as long as we can, we'll do the side quest now. And we'll get here in due time. At least the good news is with this game is that uh, they play it on such a way. Oh, we got actually brought a new follow. That threw me off. I was like, being like, why the hell? Did, like, it's a good day, fleshy mammals. Hello, motherfuckers. Uh, fuck, wrong account. <laughs> I'll be a fleshy mammal, though. Hey, Racers United. How are you? Thank you for the uh, the follow. I appreciate you. Thank you for indeed becoming a fleshy mammal. Welcome to Dying Light, my friend. Uh, what brings you in here today? Are you here to explain why you like Dying Light? I'm curious. Good to see you. Well, yeah, guys, let's do the uh, the side quest to prolong it so that we don't have to just jump straight to the final mission. We can, we can even do things like clear some safe zones and stuff. There's this safe zone at the top, and there's the other one at the bottom. I wish that this game had fast travel, to be honest. Thank you for saying hello to him, Marcus. I appreciate you. Shout out to six viewers. Yeah, but thank you, uh... Thank you, Racer, uh, for becoming another follower here. I appreciate that. You just helped us get one step closer to the 300 followers, so I appreciate you, my G. I gotta remember that we don't want to trigger the event with Rise. Where is Crane exactly? Well, I'm heading to the wrong complete area. I was I was very much about to trigger the uh, event. Head to blue, not yellow, uh, John. Oh, no, we've also got Jake. Okay, sorry, that was me. I remember I uh I was streaming on that the last night. I forgot to log out. Oh, hi, Jake. I had no idea that that was you. How strong is this melee weapon now, by the way? Yeah, definitely a lot stronger. But uh, somehow it only cut off his, his arm. Yeah, it's my F1 league. Oh, I gotcha. Well, thank you, Jake, for becoming another fleshy mammal on your other account. I appreciate that still nonetheless. How you doing today, Jake? Good to see you again. Oh, fuck. I, I really gotta get in a better habit of not falling my death. Yeah, but I want to see if I can try to like find uh, where that semi-auto shotgun is, chat, or even just figure out whether or not that that was a semi-auto shotgun that was in that box, that one mission. We'll see. Grab the damn ledge. Thank you. Thank you, Crane, for actually like having arms for once. This weapon isn't perfect, but... 
Oh, if I hold down my mouse instead of tap it, I actually get a stronger attack. I I, uh, I knew that there was something to do with R because someone pointed it out to me, but I also had no idea if you hold it, it was even stronger in addition to that. That's interesting. It's very, very interesting. Yeah, see, like, that automatically killed him in one hit as soon as I held it down. Huge difference. Yeah, absolutely huge difference. Safer? Hasn't done it yet. Why is this not a safe room? I, I mean, th this it was the power that now it does it. That was weird. Was it because of him? It must have been that zombie on the roof was messing with us and like ma making the spawns bad. Right, now we gotta remember we gotta head to blue. Plus also another thing, chat, is that uh we also want to see if we can go to like another third area, I think is what it is. Like in addition to uh Old Town, there's uh another area that has two more um blueprints we can get. Which I definitely also want to do, whatever this third location is. So we'll definitely make sure to do that. This is kind of my plan going into uh, Dying Light uh, 1 here to like make sure that we like do all the stuff that I personally want to do. This is what I was thinking. We're going to do all the main story, side quests and all. We're going to be doing the following DLC and maybe even an extra bonus DLC because I never even did the DLC past the following. Uh, but that's only if it's like good. I'm not going to force all the DLC if I don't want to, which would technically be the first game I would not do the DLC in addition and also not play the story all the way through uh, since Fortnite. Because technically Fortnite, uh, the the story after a certain point doesn't have like any cutscenes anymore and almost considered basically like DLC, even though it's the main story. We never finished it because technically like uh, you guys worded it to me that like it like was pre-finished and all the other stuff was like... Uh, just bonus or like they gave up halfway through to like compensate for Battle Royale. Now we'll just wing it, we'll just see. But uh yeah, I definitely want to do that. I also do want to try to ideally get all the blueprints to try to like make Crane as strong as he can be, even if we don't rank up his character all the way, although I am gonna try to uh, make him definitely stronger. Um what else? I want to explore all the main POIs, like, you know, it would be cool to just explore that one area that's holding, uh, that's Ryze's place. It would be cool to just explore another area, uh, even if it was just, like, not for the blueprint, but just to explore. Well, that guy got ran over instantly. What, what, what was their agenda going into that? They immediately are getting killed. But yeah, main story, side quests, ranking crane up as much as I can, new locations, blueprints, and then that should be it as far as I can think of, at least at the moment, and then we'll go from there. So by the way, how much does it say in the story that I've done now? Oh, it doesn't have a progression thing anymore, it just says extraction. Alright, almost to the last safe room. This it? Alright, that was a little over exaggerated zombie. Alright, 
Alright, there's the bookshelf covering the window. And, uh... I don't know where that zombie's going. <laughs> this should be the area that should have the power, actually, but uh, I can't open it. I don't know why. Oh, never mind, it's actually to the side of it, my bad. Oh, fuck. That's why I couldn't open it, because there was a boomer guy in there. And then kill this last zombie. Just, just die, come on, thank you. Now it says I need more safe houses. Is there still yet to be a safe house? Like if I yet to find it in like one other area? Oh, you want me to do the, uh, the funny voice challenge again? You really seem to like this one. Okay, well we'll talk like this. How's that sound? Hmm. So, chat, it looks like we've done all the safe rooms except for maybe potentially that last little new area. So we, we can do side quests, that new area, safe houses, blueprints, weapons, ranking crane up. Not quite the DLC of the main story, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Let's do this. Help Darwin. Lost in space. What is this mission again? One turn, I couldn't stop it. He's been affected too long, and he missed the window for taking his in. I have to look at his son Sammy and then find a way to get him back to his mother. Ah. So now the yellow is help da one. Okay. It's like right here. Is this him? Oh, wait. Is this the guy that was uh, the one dude that took his kid away and then like the mom wanted him uh, back? I think it might be. You know, the zombie guy had that same gray identical suit. Is this the same kid? Is he in here? Yo, kid! Hello? Where is he? Yo, kid! Where are you? What the hell? Where, where is he? Here? Oh. Go away! Leave me alone! Easy, kid. Hey, it's all over. Are you all right? My dad got hurt. He said he's becoming like the other sick people, and that he couldn't protect me anymore. He said if I came out of the cabinet, he would hurt me, but that once he was sick, I'd be safe, because he wouldn't remember I was in there. Your dad saved your life. Where is he? Sammy, he's gone. There's... there's nothing anyone could do. Now listen, I have to get you back to your mom. I wish I could have stayed with her. So yeah, it is. So what happened was that the guy escaped Enjoy, with his kid. This, Yeah, so this is the same guy and the same kid. Uh, and when the dad tried to escape after all was said and done, he ended up getting infected anyways. And uh, now I'm taking him back to his mom. At least he did let his kid live by protecting him. I got a little boy here. He's been through a rough ride. He could use some spoiling. I'll have someone there in five minutes. Can we get him back to his mother at the tower? Yeah. Oh, so I was right. So yeah, the dad eventually ended up dying. So this was like the span over like three missions. Am I just gonna leave the kid here? <laughs> a, little, a little messed up. All right, chasing the past. Kill the cannibal. Wait, I already did this, didn't I? How did I not finish this yet? Chasing the past. Inform Tariq of what happened here. Oh, I already did all the prerequisites. So 
So I guess some missions are labeled differently and then they combined later because I already did this as its own mission and now it's referring to it within a new mission. Interesting. Okay. So some of these are technically like ongoing quests, even though they're separate quests. That makes sense, sort of. Sorry about that chat, I was just taking a look at my uh, text to make sure my family was uh, helping me out by cycling in my work clothes. I actually got an early start to it, I actually put them in at 1pm, and uh, then they should have been cycled around 2, and now it's like 3 o'clock for me, so if anything, they should be actually already done, which is good, because normally I didn't uh, start them lately until 3 and got them out by like 5, which was like right before work. So they were like wet or like not finished, it would like mess me up sometimes. By the way, chat, I really haven't been, like, addressing anybody in particular because, like, uh, I've been just kind of, like, focused on the game here. But, like, let me know how all you guys are doing. Like, Marcus, like, uh, I already know I asked you how your day is uh, going. Jake, I already know I asked. Etc, etc. But, uh... I don't, mean this plague. That must be gone. I don't remember you. Uh, but, like, I don't know, like, be a little bit more specific, guys. Like, let me know if there's any particular thing you want to talk about. Uh, is there any particular thing that you, like, are excited about, like, with Dying Light here? Like, I'm curious. So, okay, so now I gotta also remember that gold is the, um, the thing I gotta track, which is up here, because I made it my, my new quest. So, blue, but no, I'll just make gold in general the thing I'm chasing. Oh, and I could kill you real quick for, for some ammo. Oh, fuck. Ooh, I grabbed the wrong thing. But yeah, guys, if you want to be specific and let me know uh, if there's a particular thing you want to talk about, just let me know. So that's probably why this guy's here. There we go. Shit. Ow, that hurts. You're, you're annoying, you're annoying. God damn it. God. Fine. Gotta use some ammo to, to get some ammo. Fine, fair enough. Crane, get up. You fucking idiots. Thank you for uh, some viewers in the chat, everybody. Well, welcome to some more Dying Light, everybody. Okay, let me go back to those guys, because those guys annoyed me. I want to I get some more ammo off of them if I can. A loop. Are they above me or underneath me? I think they're above me. No, they say they're underneath. Okay. Or is that just non... No, they are people. I don't know if they'll have any ammo, though. Because these are different bad guys. Because my other thing is up here. Do they have ammo? Or are they just melee weapons? Yeah, they're just melee. Yeah, I can't dropkick these guys nearly as good as I could the other dudes. I think this is a looter guy in comparison to also these guys. Are these dudes different? I think they are. Okay, you guys are just not worth it. <laughs> You're just not worth it. Plus also, this thing is breaking, so I'm also just going to break it really quickly for myself. So dismantle, and then I'm literally just going to do it for the, uh, the farmer sickle. Or can I not yet? It was Toxic Reaper, right? I need Aerosol. Are you serious? I can't quite do it yet. Damn it. Just let me uh, let me add the Excalibur back then, because this thing seems to consistently be working. It's always broken as shit, but at least it works. In fact, actually putting it away after a while looks like it's not as broken anymore. Is it a recharge thing? Didn't think about it that way. I mean, technically it is a magic sword. I mean, what else am I expecting? I probably don't understand everything about it. Here, let me see. 
Yeah, the bar is not like it's it's like glitched out. It, it's uh, not like resetting, resetting. Hmm. Does it say it's damaged on here? It says it's damaged on here, though. I was gonna keep putting these on it just because uh, it makes it at least a little bit stronger. Considering the fact that its durability and its damage are basically useless. <laughs> I got nothing else to replace in the meantime, so. Oh, I impaled that zombie with the grappling hook. I didn't know I could do that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, but this angel blade, though, uh, I like it. This is kind of cool. I like this blueprint. Or the angel sword. I'm also glad this game also lets me grappling hook onto basically anything. Weird, I don't know why they exploded. That was a lot of exploded guys back that way. Yeah, this grappling hook is so good, man. I am so glad I have this in comparison to the flying squirrel suit now. I probably would never even use the flying squirrel suit if I got the grappling hook even first. <laughs> See, the grappling hook you get in your, like, progression of crane, which basically means you're going to guarantee to have this at some point. Here we go. So yeah, back to here with these guys now. You're back. Did you find Mike? Mike was his dog. He's dead. And so is his father. It wasn't even the infected. It was just some twisted creep. Oh, this place. It's too much for people. Listen, Crane. These are the keys to the museum storage. There's a lot of weapons from all different times. Maybe you'll find something useful there. Thanks, Tariq. Hey, but there's something else I want from you. Sure, anything. You said you're not good with kids? No, not really. Well, get good. I will try. I give you my word. Hell yeah. Oh, reward $2,000? Thanks. And I also have fine reward. Nice. I would definitely love to have a reward after killing that cannibalistic dog murderer. Definitely for sure. So, it's down here, right? Yeah, find reward. What do you think it is, chat? Hopefully it's uh, a good gun. I'm wondering if only certain guns will only appear as rewards once. I don't know if some guns just spawn out in the open world. Maybe it's that, that shotgun? I am curious if specifically that one shotgun that people were saying was in that box was semi-auto or not. Because if it is, I wanted to eventually go back for it. Hell, I want to know if you even can go back for it. It might not show up on a ping and it might be kind of hidden away, but maybe if I uh, trace back my old footage, it will uh, jog my memory. Yeah, to see this grappling hook even uh, helps me when I'm descending a fall. If I just fill in the rest with a grappling shot, uh, I go to the grappling animation instead and I'm not following my death. <laughs> oh shit. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Uh, climb the rock? Thank you. Yeah, this is significantly, I, I am honestly so goddamn happy I got this grappling hook. You guys have no idea. What else can I do? Is the lower stuff probably the better stuff? Ooh, incre I can do more blueprints with elemental effects on. Yeah, please. Hmm. <laughs> I 
Part of me. Oh, hey, we got a brand new viewer. Hi there. Soup uh, and Cake. Hi, Soup and Cake. He says, hello. How's it going? I'm doing good, Soup and Cake. How are you? Welcome to today's live stream, friend. I hope that you are well. Welcome to Some Dying Light. My name is John of Light Ninja. Everyone, please say hello to Soup and Cake. Very unique name, but uh, pretty interesting one indeed. Uh, Soup and Cake, what brings you here to today's live stream? Are you here to... Uh, talk about dying light or are you scared to uh, just randomly check out brand uh you know like new or smaller streamers i'm just curious or are you just here to tell me to go fuck myself <laughs> just this piece just comes in here just being like fuck you that is all oh this already is a safe zone noise do I just, do I have to go from here? Do I open the door? Find the reward. I gotta climb in here, I guess? Can I, can I barbed wire my way in? Bar barbed wire, I mean, like, grappling hook my way in, duh. It's probably a climbing thing. Uh. Huh. Oh, and also, hi, Monkey Shark. I had no idea you were lingering. Been playing the game for some time, and honestly, just looking about how other new people play. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, that's cool, man. Yeah, believe it or not, I have actually played this game before, my friend. I played it once on uh, Xbox for a while, for like a couple years. And uh, now I'm playing it again for the very first time on PC uh, to show my chat what Dying Light 1 was like, because I wanted to play Dying Light 2, and I wanted to do it as a walkthrough. I, of course, need to give clarification for the first game. Uh, to make it have make sense, and so that's what I'm doing is I'm going back and playing Dying Light 2 after this even though it'll be a little bit late, but I'm playing Dying One first just for clarification. I stayed up all night, couldn't fall asleep, managed to sleep for an hour, but I woke up and still kind of uh, hurt, lol. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, if you guys have, have like any like sleeping issues, trust me, it's more relatable than you may realize. Damn, I can't grab that either. I'm uh, not really the best with sleep. I have all advice I can give. Uh, sleeping might not be the best advice. I know what to do, but like I, I never practice what I preach with sleep quite yet because like I'm a grinder. And sometimes one of the things is that it's, uh, it's hard to tell myself to take a break. I mean, legitimately, like John Cena, who I follow on Twitter, does like inspirational tweets all the time. And he actually reminded me to like take a break. Like he had like a tweet or something like that being like uh, sometimes the most effective uh, thing to do with your time or something like that was like is to like take rest or like take a break or something along those lines i'm like damn that's actually very helpful thank you for that john cena okay maybe there's another way back here i don't know if it legitimately is that one particular path i had to go and take is it that entrance that allows me to be able to get the uh the one reward Maybe it is purposely that because the uh, the barbed wire and all that stuff will keep me safe. It's probably somewhere in here I have to parkour at. Because I thought that this would be a lock pick, and it's not. Hmm. How is the PC experience? Quite good, actually. Uh, for the longest time, my friend, I was an Xbox or just console player in general, mostly Xbox. That was like my main platform choice. I went from the Wii to the DS to the Xbox 360 to the Xbox One. Uh, and I was on those retrospectively for like a couple of years each. And then throughout 2020 during uh, the pandemic, when it initially like first dropped, well, actually, no, I also had a Switch for a while. So uh, after uh, the Switch then, uh, I had like basically like a giant spree for like consoles uh, during the pandemic because I like ran out of like stuff to do and there was really nothing going on for games at the time because a lot of devs didn't know what to do either. Uh, so a lot of games were just kind of coasting. So I literally went bought uh, and uh, back and bought uh, the PS1, 2, 3, and I bought a 4 uh, before the PS5 came out. Uh, and then I also went back, got an original Xbox, I got a Nintendo, an S, uh, SNES or Super Nintendo, an N64, a GameCube, I already had the Wii, and I actually got, uh, sw went straight to a Wii U, uh, the only thing I just didn't get was a Virtual Boy, and I already had a Game Boy SP, 
and uh, I had a Nintendo 2DS already and a DS Lite. Uh, so I also got a, uh, a PlayStation Vita. And uh, what was the other thing I got? Oh, yeah, a Sega Dreamcast. A, uh, a Sega Genesis Mini emulator, and then I pulled out my old Atari 2600 uh, emulator. Uh, like, I like the plug and plays. So that was all the stuff I basically was playing. Because even though I did have a PC before COVID, uh, even PC games were kind of getting a little boring. I like to rotate between console, handheld, and PC. Believe it or not, I pretty much play one of everything. Although I will say is that uh, more of my stuff has been migrated over to my PC, especially in recent memory. Uh, like, before I would have a thing where, like, I didn't want to play, uh, PC only because there was some console stuff that I just didn't enjoy playing. And plus, also, I prefer it on console, and I had some of my progress on console. And, uh, sometimes I just enjoy the casualness of console. Uh, but m as I've gotten older, I'm, I'm moving more completely onto PC. Like, for example, I've been even neglecting some of my prior saves and just starting over again just solely to play on PC. <sighs> not every game, uh, because some games I do not want to lose my save. Um, but if I can, I am trying to see, figure out ways to hopefully move on to just PC. Okay, there is rocks over here like I thought there was. They're all hidden behind the, uh, grass. Come on. Is this a trick? Is there, like, is, is, am I, am I supposed to be figuring out where the, uh, the hidden spots are? I think that's what it is. Shit. Soup and Kate, do you know how to get in this damn room? I don't know how the hell to get in here. Or at least I don't think, I mean, I have an idea, but like, I, I don't want to like take forever trying to just problem solve and troubleshoot this. Here, hold on. Let me take a step back and think for a second. Where is the next possible spot here I could grab? Is it this? Or do I just go all the way across in general? No. Is it straight up? No. This is the left? I can sort of climb the left. Oh, this is actually frustrating. Why the hell can I not figure out how to get in here? I used to spend a lot of time on the Wii. I remember those good old days with Wii Sports and Skylanders. I actually have no idea. I haven't done the side quest yet. I assume maybe uh, from the back? That would make more sense based off the yellow ping, but I thought that since this was a safe area, it might want me to take it from the front, but I guess we'll try the back. Yeah, dude, I remember all the Wii days. Like, dude, the... Uh, the Wii was actually my first ever uh, console, believe it or not, and the DS Lite was my first ever handheld. I grew up with Nintendo stuff at first. I still remember, and I truly do miss, like, uh, certain things from my childhood. Like, uh, I, I try my best not to let nostalgia blind me, but goddamn, I'd be lying if I said there's just certain things that, even though fundamentally they're not as good as I remember them, that nostalgia just so blocks me from it. Like, I remember that the Wii was underpowered in comparison to, like, things like the PS3 and the Xbox 360, but I still absolutely love the... Da -da -da -da, like, from the DS and the... From the, like, the Wii boot up. I, I remember every one of those, like, little chimes that they would make, or, or even the Wii song where it's like... Dun, like all those little chimes, I, I remember them so massively, man. And, but even though the Wii was my first console, my favorite is my Xbox 360. I will forever miss the Xbox 360, man. I miss it so fucking much. I love the uh, the classic 360 intro, where when you boot up the console for the very first time, the 360 of the ball for the Xbox logo spins in, and it's like, woo, wah, and it just says Xbox 360. Me too. And then uh, Greddy's here. He says, hey, Ninja, how are you, mate? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing quite well, actually. I'm just uh, getting nostalgic, actually, with uh, a mixture of old and new viewers alike. Thank you for eight viewers, guys. I appreciate you. Uh, you guys want to say uh, hi to the brand new viewer, Greddy? Got a brand new uh, viewer, actually called uh, Soup and Cake. 
Super K Greddy is one of my uh, followers. If, if you want to, you can also say hi to him. Is this a parkour thing? I really hope that this isn't like an annoying parkour thing. Wait, 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 wait. Aha! Making progress. Wait a minute. Oh, there's an invisible barrier. You gotta be fucking kidding me. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Fuck! <laughs> no, it's, it's probably... Wait, is it this? No, it's gotta be the front. I'm gonna probably, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm probably gonna have to look it up really quickly because I have zero idea why this is giving me even so much issue in the first place. Here, let me just look it up real fast. Drop into the water? You mean like go underneath? There's a tunnel? Tunnel, you say? Here, let's, let's try the, the tunnel method that you're saying. Tunnel, go back into the water. Okay, bet. Back into the water. Let's see where this tunnel is that you refer to. It would make sense if it was underneath. Now, where should I jump into the water, though? Not in the back, in the front of it? In the front of it. And uh, that's cool, Gritty. That's cool. The front of it? How the fuck would there be water in the front of it? This is just confusing. Chat, I feel like I'm trying to solve a goddamn riddle from the Riddler in Batman. In the front of the museum, you can drop down, haha. -ha. I'm just getting flustered, man. <laughs> That's just all. In the front of it, jump down? The fuck? Wait, I mean, yeah, there's down here, but like, is there really a tunnel? Oh, yeah, the tunnel from earlier. I, I went back in here uh, for one point in the story like a couple missions ago. Now I know what you mean. Okay. Now it makes sense. Yeah, now I remember. Uh, Crane, go through. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, because this would make sense about why it would not work. Aha! Yeah, I gotta go back to the museum. I remember now he- I, I remember, yeah, because the guy said keys to the museum. So yeah, here we go. Go figure. Thank you. That, that confused the shit out of me, man, so thank you. We're probably gonna find some antique, like, pistol or something is my guess. So here we go. A cleaver. What about this box? What is it? It's a dildo! Okay, no, I'm just kidding. Nah. 
Yeah, this is probably what's actually going to be. No, you're fine, man. I'm not even trying to make you wrong. I'm just I'm just teasing you and giving you shit. You, you'll you'll start to get to know my friend really quickly that uh, I'm I'm a very lighthearted guy. It's very hard to piss me off. That's not a challenge, though, by the way. Obviously, don't try to be a dick, but I understand if you got a little bit of a trolley sense of humor. I, I have a couple people like that to do that. Military machine. Is this really all that's down here? Please tell me there's a gun or something. Is, are these all just shitty blue melee weapons? You can tell I'm getting frustrated because I'm uh, just breaking my lock picks. This box? You gotta be shitting me. What about this door? You're shitting me. Are you shitting me? That's my reward. What the fuck? I get a blue military machete. A pickaxe. I literally got just blue melee weapons. That's all I got. Wow, that's a letdown. That is a letdown. That is a dick tease. Not even one gun was in there. That's just crappy, man. That was so not worth it. Oh, well. Probably just poor RNG spawns or something. Okay. So now, what other side quests can we do? We're actually going through this a lot quicker than I thought we were. Clear the radio station outposts. Savi told me that the outposts and the radio station have taken by Rise's bandits. Paying them a visit would be a good idea. All right. And that one is this, so we're gonna head there. These side quests are actually going a lot quicker than I thought that they were. Maybe the one thing that will make this stream longer is actually the other locations and not the side quests like I thought they were going to be. I thought the side quests would have like more uh, substance to them if that would make any sense, but uh, seems like they're just like somewhat 